Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to understand how to interface a 8 tras 8 matrix LED display with Arish board which contains Vega processor in it which has risk 5 open source 32 bit core. So in the application what you are able to see is here the 8 tras 8 matrix LEDs are blinking. The first and foremost thing to start with uh, microcontrollers are display interfacing. Here we are starting with 8 tras 8 matrix display interfacing where this 8 tras 8 matrix display is interfaced with the iris board through SPI protocol. So SPI protocol includes 3 pins excluding your power supply pin. So there is a power supply pin VCC and ground. Along with that there are 3 other pins which includes clock clock signal, data in signal and the chip select signal. So clock, data in and chip select are the mandatory 3 pins for a, in an SPE protocol which is a on, on serial communication protocol. So the program written inside this Aries board that is Vega processor is making this 8 tras 8 LEDs to blink which is most important uh, activity to start the activity with embedded system. So let us see the code for this particular uh, blinking activity. Before that there is one particular IC here. This is very very important. This IC is a display driver IC which receives the data in the SPI format and then it converts into 8 tras 8 matrix and then it drives all the 64 LEDs. So the major role play in 8 tras 8 matrix blinking of an LED is this IC. So let us look at the data, set, the data sheet of this IC which is display driver which is max 7219. So if you want to study any IC, we should look at the data sheet. So this is the data sheet which contains max 7219 8 digit LED display driver. So this is very important. This receives the data in SPE format as you see here. So in the screen as you see here, this receives the data data in SPE format which is data in and it receives the data there is a chip select signal and there is a serial clock so these three pins are connected from the microcontroller to the display driver and then this, this display driver sends out 8 digit 8 output and 8 segment 8 output so 8 tras 8 matrix so 64 uh, combinations of 8 tras 8 matrix is being achieved with the help of this block diagram this you can understand so this is the pin diagram of this IC which contains the segment selection separately as well as the digit selection separately. So where 8 rows and 8 columns is the prime objective of this. So if you look at the features of this thing, so it uses 100 MHz serial interface. That means the scanning rate is maximum up to 100 MHz. So individual LED segment control, there is a possibility for us to control the individual LEDs for bringing any graphics. So because of the individual LED control, we can able to bring any graphics of any language. So and again, so decode or uh, digit selection is possible. So mostly the power saving mode is very important. So 150 microamps slow power shutdown uh, facility is available and digital analog brightness control is available and uh, display blanket and power off. So default whenever you switch on to save the power, so display will be blank and the drive common cathode LED display the slow rate limited segment drivers for low power EMI in max 7221 but what we have is max 7219 so this is very important and if you look at the block diagram of this it's very interesting if you look at the block diagram of this display um, it's very interesting this display driver contains this it receives the data in the in this format so this eight segments will be given to the eight tras eight dual port SRAM and this input is given to the segment drivers and other input is given to the digit drivers. So segment drivers act as a row, digit drivers act as a column which makes 8 tras 8 matrix to display properly. Now look at the code for this particular uh, blinking of an LED. We are using the library file as include ledcontrol.h. After that we are initializing the pins. So there are three pins from the microcontroller which is connected to the display systems through SPE protocol. Because it is SPE protocol, 
So there is a data in and there is a chip select and there is a clock which is connected to the 12th pin, 10th pin and 11th pin. And there is an object which is LED control where the D in input, the clock, chip select and there is only one display that is why this one. And as we know very well we are writing an embedded system code. So void main part is this. So we are initializing. So the initializing must be done with the shutdown uh, value. So which will blank the display. Shutdown false means it will initialize the uh, display and then our interest is to blink an LED. So we have created a function called print vega. In the function print vega there is a one dimensional array of byte all. So in this array if you observe carefully so there are 64 uh, ones if you observe carefully there are 64 ones. So in 8 draws 8 format that is 8 format. So this B denotes binary. So the binary values of first row say for example that is 8 1. Binary value of second row say for example 8 1. Binary value of third row say for example 8 1. Binary value of fourth row say for example 8 1. Similarly all the 8 rows are made as logic 1 and then we have written a for loop. In this for loop we are keep on uh, getting all the in 8 inputs all the 8 rows one by one. So making all the 64 segments to glow by completing this for loop and then we are waiting for the one second delay that is 1000 millisecond delay which is one second delay. After that we have another array called byte all blank where we are clearing all the displays. We are clearing all the displays by giving the binary value of 0, first row 0, second row 0, third row 0, fourth row 0 in an array and then we are calling this function. We are calling this function for loop. We are calling the for loop where in this for loop every row is being called and then all the segments are made as black and then delay of 1000 is being given. So that is why 1 second on and 1 second off. So first this light uh, by tall all segments are on waiting for 1 second and then all segments are made black and then waiting for 1 second and this is that uh, print vega function and in that loop we are calling this print vega function. So because it is in the loop so default uh, one second all the 64 LEDs are glowing for another one second all the 64 LEDs are not glowing that is what we are able to see in the corresponding display as we see here. This is how it works. Thank you. Now in this code there is a slight modification is being done to justify all the individual LEDs are addressable. For that to make it more simple, the first row of all LEDs are made as 1 and the second row of all LEDs are made as 0, the third row of all LEDs are made as 1 and the fourth row made as 0 meaning all the odd rows are made as 1 and all the even rows are made as 0 and then we are calling the same function in the loop and then we are able to get the output like this. If you see, if you download the code, you are able to see the output like this. First row, third row, fifth row and seventh row are continuously glowing. Second row, fourth row, sixth row and eighth row are blinking. Parallelly, if we modify the code in some format, let us see. While doing, if I am going to make only the first row and the last row to glow, if I am making the code to make the first row and the last row to grow, say for example the remaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I am blanking the third row and then I am blanking the fifth row. I am blanking the fifth row, something like this if you see, I am blanking the second row, every one denotes one bit. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now if you observe carefully, the first row all the LEDs are 1 and we can make the last row all the LEDs are 1. So that is the last row we can make all the LEDs are 1. Say for example 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then if we delete this and we can made this as 0, if you make this as 0, we are able to see 5, 6, 7, 8. So first row and last row must glow. That is what the modifications we have to do. And then we are downloading the code and then it was downloaded. And some changes you can able to observe here. Only the first row and the last row are continuously glowing. The rest of the things are blinking. So this experiment 
and this modifications helps us to understand every individual bit in the heterocyte matrix is accessible hence proved like this several hundred applications based on the requirements we can do with this heterocyte matrix display thank you